Hello and welcome back to Orwell. That's right, I was very interested in this game, so I figured we'd continue it. We are still under the gaze of Mr. Simey, or Sime, or Seem. I don't know how his name is pronounced, but he's a terrible person. We are looking into the uh, terrorist attack done supposedly by Miss Cassandra Watergate, although I have questions about that one. And we just learned that Joseph Langley happens to be her lawyer and most likely lover, just saying. It's probably a thing. And we have to read something about um, uh, Mr. Joseph Langley's situation there. Procedure closing raises manipulation suspicions. I have no clue what that means, but it sounds amazing. What is this? Ooh, look. Is that Mr. Uh, Joseph Langley? That would be Mr. Joseph Langley. Um, procedure closes. Investigation into malicious. Orwell informs me you've just encountered conflicted data chunks. What does that mean? What does that mean? Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odd with one another, they will be shown as conflicted. Okay. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will become invalid immediately. I'd highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed. Though this is your decision, once the information's been parsed, there's no way to reverse your choice. Isn't that nice? Well, this appears to be um, Joseph Langley himself. He kind of has like a lopsided face. That might just be the like weird voxel look of the uh, game, but he it does appear to have a slightly lopsided face. Poor guy. Investigation into the malicious injury of a police officer has been dropped due to l lack of evidence. Speculated that, that the accused's parents manipulated the trial. Oh yeah? Uh, the case that has been at the center of media attention for the last month has finally come to an end. Cassandra W. was acquitted of the alleged assault against a police officer. That'd be the one in which allegedly she hit a police officer with a brick. Although, given all of the information I've heard about the context within which she was supposed to have hit a police officer with a brick, I remain highly skeptical that she actually hit a police officer with a brick. It just doesn't sound like she actually did it. It doesn't mean that she, she could have, but it's hard to tell. Um... With the case being closed due to lack of evidence yesterday, however, the case might be reopened should new evidence be discovered. The suspect's lawyer, Joseph Langley, welcomed this outcome. At no point has there ever been any valid evidence against that my client was guilty, which is accurate. We read the uh, police report. At no point at all. The revered defense attorney commented during a post-trial press gathering. The defense successfully brought video evidence depicting the incident in question, which eventually turned the tide of the proceedings. Um, what sort of video evidence was that? Meanwhile, the relatives of the victim expressed their disappointment on hearing the result of the lawsuit. They openly voiced their concern that the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favor. The victim, a father of two young sons, was rushed into hospital after the incident in mid-July, where he is still in an induced coma unresponsive to treatments. I see. Can we put uh, Langley's picture in there? Because that, that happens to be Joyce, Joseph Langley. I guess we can't. So apparently we've got this conflicting situation in which... Either the case was closed due to there being a lack of evidence, which I actually, I can believe that, or the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favor. Now that's the other situation. We do know she has an entrepreneurial father. Uh, if we actually look at Cassandra Watergate, she's a daughter of entrepreneur. I believe the entrepreneur happens to be a, um, pharmaceutical company person although I'm not certain that we agreed that that was actually a thing um, I really don't know about that it's just an offhand remark it could be a joke it's hard to tell um, is there any information at all that we potentially have that could point towards this he's taken the um, they appear to be in some form of relationship. I'm going to put it that way. Um, that could be a strong consideration. 
there doesn't appear to be any talk about when are you going to tell them about us? I was only teasing. Huh. So they're definitely together. Um, Cassandra's parents don't know about it. What particularly that means, I don't think that points in either direction towards what happened here. I think that we can believe that the entrepreneurial parents were part of the pharmaceutical company. I'm going to believe that. Watergate Pharm Pharma Entrepreneurs? That does ring a bell, doesn't it, Mr. Symes? That's right. I would like some information, thank you. Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Okay. Products. Watergate Pharmaceuticals enriches lives with our industry-leading range of products, including um, mood-elevated elevating medications. Ah, uh, so they do antidepressants. Uh, does that mean that um, Mr. Joseph Langley is on some form of antidepressants? I guess I shouldn't pick up some of those party pills. Oh, uh, yeah, Joseph Langley's all in those antidepressants, and he doesn't even have to be. That's the worst. I wonder which one of these is the party pills. Below, you will find a small selection of our most popular products. Cough drops that fight against irritation. I don't think that's the party pills. Active pills against migraines. Probably not the party pills, although if... The uh, party goers happen to have continual migraines, then it could be some form of party pill. It has to be said. Concentration and cerebral performance. Now, focus in could easily be the party pill that we're looking at. Um, alleviation of joint arthritis could be an antidepressant. Methorin. Hard to tell. All around painkiller. Or soothing pills for a good night's rest against occasional sleep problems and for acute applications when suffering from. Insomnia. Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to guess the um, pill was Focusin that uh, Joseph Langley wanted. I mean, that's not really important to our job, but I, I was just wondering. Just wondering. Let's see. The name Watergate has been inseparable from progress and innovation of pharmaceutical research for more than 80 years. If that's the case, I haven't ever heard of you. <laughs> Get wrecked, Mr. Watergate. Watergate Pharmaceuticals is one of the nation's leading companies in the area of medicine. At the same time, it is the largest medical exporter to all areas of the world, including Antarctica. Mr. Bruno Watergate, Chief Executive Officer. You cannot say that um, you're the leading export all over the world unless you ship to Antarctica. Thank you very much. The business at Watergate Pharmaceuticals, Inc. has been in the hands of the Watergate family, owning and managing the firm since its since its foundation in 1931. So Bruno Watergate, most likely her father, is the um, owner of that. Ooh, Dr. Alice Watergate really needs to work on that smile because that's kind of terrifying, actually. That's... I don't want to see that. Ugh. The CEO of um, Watergate Pharmaceuticals, Inc. is Bruno Watergate, grandson of our founder, Edgar Watergate. Apart from working in the family business, he's also the founder of Central Pharmaceuticals Congress and head of the charity foundation's Children of Pargs is part of a pharmaceutical congress. I feel like there's some sort of um, issue with uh, you know, conflict of interest in that. That's apparently her mother. Cassandra is apparently a junior COO. I don't actually know what a COO is. Um, I'm sure that's an important position. Appointed to be COO of a pharmaceutical company, probably by one of her parents, most likely. Being an artist and a junior COO is quite odd. She also mentioned she had quit a dull job, didn't she? She apparently did. She is Alice and Bruno's daughter, which is good information. Upload completed. Ah, now I see. Keeping it a family affair. Of course, that's how it works. It's some sort of mafia-run uh, drug company, which is kind of strange. Documents that are you, you have already re reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. The National Beholder just published a new article you may want to take a look at and see if there's any new information available. Duly noted, my friend. I quite appreciate you pointing me towards that. We now understand that uh, Miss Watergate was being um, given the COO position. We are urgently looking for a chief operating officer to replace the retired, formerly appointed predecessor. Oh, I see. So Cassandra Watergate 
is no longer a member of the actual company. So we're going to pull this over here. That is clearly what happened here. She's um, retired from being COO. Or maybe I was wrong and nothing stays in the family. Ouch. Shut up, Symes. This is probably what she meant about quitting her job. Good. It's exactly what I believe. And I um, am apparently the one who gets to believe um, that gets to choose what is real or not. Aww. Hard to tell. Let's check what the headlines are on about. Crime rate continues to drop. The Ministry of Security has presented latest numbers on crime wave statistics. Um, this one looks like we've already read that one, Triflid. So this is what we need to check out now. Crime rate drops. On Thursday morning, the Ministry of Security published the new crime statistics report for the preceding year. According to the report, the number of recorded criminal offenses decreased by 4.8% because we, as the Orwellian people, have succeeded in arresting criminals before they ever broke laws. Good for us. We're doing a great job. The crime rate has been continuously decreasing after, over the past several years after as a direct result of the implementation of the safety bill. Which is us totally. That's where we're at. Secretary and Security Catherine uh, De La Croix uh, appeared very pleased by these numbers and declared this development is an outstanding result of successful safety policy and ourselves. When confronted with the recent assault in Bonton, she once again admitted the ambitious goals of the government have not yet been accomplished. She further mentioned that activities are currently being established which will have a considerable impact preventing further incidents which is probably us i can't tell if this is us or the other one is us i see the party our principles put into action oh well, yeah check out those crime rates those are some pretty serious crime rates the parg's peacekeeping mission hold up do you not recall the fact that um Cassandra's family was working with some form of charity group, which was working in the parks. Let's actually check out what this is on about. The safety bill is a collection of safety-centered laws and statutes created with the ultimate goal to protect the freedom of the national citizens. Blah, 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 blah. Let's read this one instead. The terrorist incident of 2008 was a the terrible consequence of the premature retreat of our troops from Pargs, a region torn by the civil unrest for years by the order of the previous government. To fix our predecessor's mistakes, the party, when elected in 2009, immediately made preparations to send our highly reliable soldiers back to safeguard the region for the good of the inhabitants of both countries alike. After the Pargs peacekeeping mission had been signed in 2011, our troops were sent off to the neighboring countries to perform tasks including the distribution of aid packages including food in addition to health hygiene products to the most impoverished nations which are probably uh, pharmaceuticals that were created by the Watergate pharmaceutical company if we can believe the charity operation at all the rebuilding of infrastructure particularly hospitals and schools upholding the law blah 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 or removal of anti-personnel landmines that's always nice training local police and military forces due to a recent stabilization in the parks we have been able to reduce the number of stationed forces while leaving the overall goal of the peacekeeping mission intact interesting um what would we happen to have into robert blaine is in there arthur kruger catherine de la croix peter falk created the parks peacekeeping mission that's going back to this page we need to find some form of connection between Watergate and most likely the Pargs situation. Um, I don't think we're going to find it this time. I think for now we're going to come to the end of this episode. But this is getting interesting. The plot thickens wherein potentially the Watergate pharmaceutical companies may be doing something very sketchy in relation to the Pargs charity. I believe that the Pargs is probably some form of parallel for um, some Middle Eastern country or, I don't know, African country or something. Hard, hard to tell. Based on the f 
if you go off of the fact that potentially this is the U.S., I, I'm only saying that because, you know, um, uh, I'm, I'm American and to me the world revolves around the United States? Question mark? I don't know. But anyway, um, if you think about that, um, the Pargs could very well be some Middle Eastern country, which um, they've, you know, had a war in and all that, like the Iraq war and stuff like that. And they're currently trying to stabilize it. But the Watergate pharmaceutical companies could be doing something sketchy in relation to the um, uh, sending of drugs over to the Pargs as a charity mission, which I would say we need to look into. We need to find a connection between the Watergate pharmaceutical company and the uh, Pargs peacekeeping mission, which we know there is a connection, just not precisely what it is. Anyway, until next time... Thanks for watching, and of course, as always, enjoy the rest of your day.